It was February 2020 that Terence Laird's fight for recognition ended when he ran a scintillating 20.5 seconds to capture the SEC indoor title, outdoing Matthew Bowling who went after the time unsuccessfully in the second heat of the finals. The win had a massive impact on Laird, which spilled over into 2021, a season which eventually saw him becoming an even more prominent figure on the collegiate circuit. He was incredible throughout the indoor season, which began with a 20.61 clocking which saw him win at the Wu Pig Classic. The win would start a run which saw him going into the SEC Indoor Championships undefeated, where he was set to once again face Matthew Bowling, an even faster bowling than previous. However Laird still managed to get the win in a time of 20.28 seconds. The rematch took place at the NCAA Indoor Championships, which was an even more exciting race than before. The LSU sprinter only lost by 0.01 seconds to the 20-year-old from Georgia University rounding one of the most exciting indoor seasons ever. Ending the indoor season with a time of 20.20 seconds, it was expected that Laird was bound to do something special outdoors. His first assignment was set for the 93rd edition of the Clyde Littlefield Texas Relays, which took place in Austin, Texas. Texas is renowned for having one of the fastest tracks in the United States, being the home of six collegiate records. Marks such as Shakari Richardson's 10.75, Grant Holloway's 12.98, and even the 4x1 relay which Grant Holloway was a part of in 2019. On Thursday, March 25, Laird competed in the heats of the 200 meters, taking on Chivani Hansen, a bronze medalist in the 400 meters at the 2018 Jamaican High School Championships. But even with that he strolled away to record 20.43 seconds winning almost a full half seconds ahead of Hansen. On Saturday, the final day of the championships he went into the 200 meters as favorite with Sean Maswanganyi the South African national junior record holder in the 100 meters as his main contender. Sean had won his preliminary on Thursday in the second fastest time on the day, 20.66 seconds. Devon Achain was also a contender as he too had done well in the preliminaries. As soon as the gun went Sean got a great start and looked great around the bend, however, as soon as they went on the straight it was clear we were in for another Laird master class, as he took the lead and opened a decent gap between himself and the rest of the field. The LSU junior went through the line recording 19.81 seconds, an incredible time, the fastest time in the world this year, and also makes him the third fastest American collegiate sprinter of all time in the event. He now surpasses Justin Gatlin who ran 19.86 in 2002 and Christian Coleman who ran 19.85 in 2017. The only two men to have ever run faster than he has in collegiate history are Walter Dix and Divine Ajaduru. With such a run we have to wonder if Walter Dix's record of 19.69 is in trouble as for years it has looked as one of those records that would never be touched soon. But given that no collegiate sprinter has never run this fast this early in the season before, it has to be said that with the main meter championships over a month or two away. Laird more than likely will be running faster this year, how faster, only time will tell. But being only 0.12 seconds away from a record that is owned by the fifth fastest man ever in the event is certainly a good sign Laird is on the right path for global success.